Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday, August, what is it, 5th? No, it's the uh, 6th. I think it's the 5th. Anyway, it's Sunday, first Sunday in August. We are headed out yes, to the movies and dinner. It's a bright blue, sunny day. Hot again. <sighs> anyway, just taking it easy on Sunday. We have stuff we probably should be doing, but we're not going to. So anyway, you know how it is. We'll be back. <laughs> we're going to see The Incredibles too. Yes, we are. We'll probably be the oldest people in the audience, but that's okay. And it's incredible. It'll be incredible. It will be, yeah. Uh, Twice as incredible. Right? We'll be back. morning. It is Monday, uh, August 6th. I only know that because I'm sitting at my desk and the computer's right there. Um, <clears throat> uh, the husband is off today. He's working these long 12 hour plus shifts for his company, doing some customer service worldwide and um, training. And um, sorry, my asthma is itchy. Uh, my asthma is acting up and my nose is itchy. My allergies are acting up too. Um, summer's not a great time of year for me, but um, the fires in California aren't helping anyway. Um, so he's home today. Um, he was off yesterday, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So we're going to try to get some DIY done here around the house and some other errands and things I've been putting off that I could use his help with. Um, I did finally get a decent amount of sleep last night and the night before I think my body is just, at some point, the exhaustion overrides the anxiety, and, and and I just collapse. And so that's, despite the fact that there's giant bags under my eyes, which are kind of always there, um, I, di I did get some sleep last night. Anyway, I've been up doing paperwork and answering some emails and um, make, making lists. That's what I do when I'm stressed. I make lists. So I made some lists this morning. <sighs> anyway, I have some art that I want to do. I am... Um, inspired to work on a few watercolors. I came up with some ideas last night. I have a watercolor journal I want to work in, so I might work on that. I may film it for the vlog and not just for regular YouTube, so I'll see what happens, and um, that's it for the moment. I will be back. I don't think there's anything exciting going on today except unclogging the hall shower drain. I don't think that's super exciting. I won't. I promise I won't film it because, ew, who wants to see that? I don't want to see that. Um, anyway, that's it for the moment. Okay, guys, back. this is for you all here on the vlog. I did my last double page spread in this journal. This is my moleskin one that I never remember what it is. Let's see. It's a moleskin something. A moleskin weekly notebook for 2017. I did start off the journal dating the pages and, of course, finished it with no dates. <laughs> of course, this is how what it looks like, how fat it is. I'm going to take my page protectors out. So that's what it looks like. It has the coolest texture on the pages and the, in the book because of the layers on some of them and then just the design on others. It is the coolest thing. So anyway, break out your old calendars and work in them and see what you can come up with. That's it for today. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, August. Oh boy, I think it's the seventh. Pretty sure. Anyway, it's Tuesday morning. It's six fifty-two a.m. I'm not really awake. I've only had one cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> I'm helping my husband get his car over for service, which means I have to go with him because it's far away, and I need to. Get him. Pick him up. Turn right on to Muscat Drive. Then turn him. right on to Vineyard Drive. Then they're going to need to have his car all day. So he has a vintage um, Mitsubishi 3000 GT sports car. 1991? 1991? Turn right on to Vineyard Drive. 
so he's gonna go have it serviced and then he's got to do blood work and then we're gonna go to breakfast and get more coffee so this will be fun because we'll be driving in rush hour traffic and I haven't done that in quite a while in one mile keep left on Tuesday route 85 north I try to avoid it at all costs Jeep keeps interrupting me anyway we're gonna head on our way and I'll take you with us hey guys it is 4 37 in the afternoon on Tuesday and it hasn't been an overly busy stressful day but we have had a lot of little things to do and um, I just got done dropping my husband off to pick his car up from getting it serviced which is the early morning trip that we um, went on this morning and and then after we did all that, we went out to breakfast, which was nice. And um, I think I got a little footage of the restaurant that we went to, Bill's Cafe, that I think you saw right before this. Um, cute little place um, with a pretty good breakfast. A little bit pricey. The biscuits and gravy were a little bland, but I have to say my eggs and bacon were cooked really well. The hash browns were delicious. Coffee. You know, diner coffee is so hard to get right and not have it be burned. And their coffee was really good. Um... Police reported ahead. We're now stuck in traffic because my husband's car place is on the other side of San Jose. Getting up there wasn't a big deal because everybody's going south, which is now the way I'm headed. And yeah, it's bad. Anyway, I'm going to stop at Target on the way home. Maybe Michael's. I don't know. It depends on how annoyed I get with the traffic and where I get off the freeway, to be really honest. Um, I want to work on some watercolors because right now... Um, after I finished the journal that I showed you all the other day, um, the only I'm, I'm packing up everything except for my travel art supplies, my my travel sketch supplies, and some watercolor, um, like really basic, basic, basic. So I um, want to work on some watercolor. I'm actually inspired right now to work on some watercolor. I got the new Jean Haynes watercolor book in the mail today. I pre-ordered it months and months and months ago and I will put a picture here somewhere and um, I am really inspired to practice with some watercolors and I was talking to my husband um, after we get all of the things done that we're doing right now I may do a few big watercolors to get framed and hang in the house. So Anyway, um, but that all being said I left out a couple of watercolor journals and some paints, of course, and brushes, but I do not have any watercolor pencils, and I want to do some pre-sketching that actually, for once, I don't want to show when it's done, so I need to go to the store. <laughs> Crayola will work fine. Um, these are just practices in the, in the journal, so if a little bit of the pencil shows, that's fine. It doesn't matter, but I don't want to use black dissolvable graphite, which I do have. Um, but that's too dark for what I want to do. So I'm going to just pick up a box of Crayola watercolor pencils or rose art or something. That'll work just fine. So we're going to go do that on the way home. And I'm sounding raspy again because of um, the air quality issues that we're having right now in the Bay Area because of the Cali California, Northern California fires. So um, they just finally put out an announcement today. You know, I already knew it for like at least a week, but... show you guys what it looks like. This is just to get on the freeway. It's just to get on the freeway. Lovely, right? And that over there on the left is, is the freeway. It's like this here all the time. So yeah, nice, huh? Anyway, I'm gonna turn up the music and I'm gonna just try to relax and enjoy the ride. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, August 8th. It is 10.53 a.m. and it's been a busy morning filled with phone calls and uh, me trying to get enough coffee to feel like I'm awake, which I haven't really managed, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, I got this piece of happy mail yesterday all the way from Auckland, New Zealand 
from YouTube superfan Stephanie Parks. She's a longtime fan of mine. She sends me a lot of emails with artwork images that she's done and she does great work. Thank you so much Stephanie for being a big support over the years and I absolutely love all the stamps that you used. You knew I was going to say that though. I love them. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Stephanie, but maybe you can tell me, you can send me an email. I know you don't like comment on YouTube very much or anything. Um, or maybe one of you all knows. But anyway, aren't these great? So this came yesterday. I haven't opened it yet. It's still sealed. So let's see if we can get it open. See if I can find a little hole. Oops. Oh, yeah. I found a space. rip anything. It seems like a, a very full envelope. The description on the um, customs tags just says um, stationery. So I don't know what that means. But it looks fabulous. She sent me some really beautiful handmade stuff before. You know I'll save this because this is great. Look at this! How she has this all wrapped up. Look at that. I love that. Wow. I'm going to stop and take a photo. I'll be right back. Okay. So there's a card. Let me read what it says. Beautiful card. Handmade card. Handmade by Stephanie. Oh, this is um, actually for my birthday. She sent me something for my birthday. And um, that is so sweet. Yes, my birthday is August 2nd. And... Um, I love that you remembered. That's great. I am terrible with people's birthdays, even when they're family or close friends. I'm pretty well known in the family for being horrible with birthdays. So, um, But anyway, I'm glad that you all are better at it than I am. So thank you so much for the wonderful birthday card. All the birthday cards I got this year are going in my Traveler's Notebook journal, so this one will be included. And then she sent me this fun little birthday package. So let's see what's in here. I'm going to try to, of course, save everything because I can use this string. Look at this beautiful paper. It feels like a handmade paper. Oh, look! She said, look at these flags. These are gonna be great in my traveler's notebook. I love them. I have not seen these. These are wonderful. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I do so appreciate it very much. So there you go. That's it for the moment for today. We've gotta go do some banking and other things later today after lunch and I need to finish laundry because we have a lot of dirty clothes again. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Hey guys, I finally started doing some watercolor again and I was really interested in painting some pictures representing love but in a non-traditional way. So I thought, what about some watercolors of um, uh, at least a suggested image of an actually anatomical heart um, but what about one that was dripping rainbows or you know one that was um, ocean colors one that was forest colors um, inspired by things that you love right so I, st I just had this thing about doing the first one in with rainbow colors and at first I wasn't too sure how it turned out but now it's dry you ready I don't know. I know it's not going to appeal to all of you. There's just something about it that I love. I love it. And um, there is a trick to how I did it. I do think I want to do a series of these on bigger paper um, after we get done with all the boxes and cardboard and craziness that's going on around here. Um, so there is a trick to doing it. I think that you could do paintings of this and do repeated paintings and rather than hand sketching each painting and have it be, you know, completely different or slightly different size each time, this way they'll be at least of, a, of similar size, although they're each hand painted, they'll be of similar size. There is a trick that I'm using, an old, an old trick, it's not a new trick by any stretch of the imagination. If y'all would like to see it, let me know in the comments, but yeah. I am also going to be painting some owl feathers in non-traditional colors. This is a, reference image I found on the internet and I have a couple other ideas for some watercolors I'm gonna work in this 
journal. It's one of the few things I can get to. I left a one watercolor journal out, my Daniel Smith paints out, and some brushes and things. Um, and then I already finished the other journal I was working in, the collage one, which I already shared with you all. So I am going to work in this watercolor one now. Love it. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see how I did that. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, August something. So that's my dad. So it's been a great morning. I started off the morning with um, the city of San Jose garbage people not taking the old motor oil that we had in their jug because it's, they said it wasn't in their jug and it wasn't motor oil. There's that. I went to go clean the furnace vent and get the lint out of it and I got the brush stuck. So my dad's here um, to help with some other stuff and he's going to try to unfix it for me. Un unstick it? Unfix it? Anyway, it's been an interesting start to the day. I'm having some more coffee. We'll see where the rest of the day takes me. I'll be back. I got this cute envelope in the mail uh, late yesterday and I it says it's from Karen and I wasn't sure who that was. Oop. There we go. Um, the only Karen I know is my, I have a sister named Karen, but I was pretty sure it wasn't from her. She and I don't really get along that well. So, um, I opened it up and it's from a, either a follower on Facebook or a fan here on YouTube. Actually, it wasn't real clear on that. Let's see if I can get it out one handed. Let's see. Oop. Let's see. Um, and she sent this really nice card with this really lovely poem on the front. You all can screenshot this right here so you can read it or pause the video right here so you can read it. And there was a very nice note, handwritten note inside. And she did some artwork and doodling inside. I love it. Thank you so much, Karen, if you're watching this. I really do appreciate it. It was a really nice surprise to get in the mail uh, for my birthday. Really nice. Thank you so much. Good morning. It is Friday, August 10th. Um, it's 10.08 in the morning. Um, I've spent the morning getting ready for some more people and estimates to come over to the house. I can't really deal with any more workmen or anything, so my dad is actually visiting and my husband is working from home today, so they both said, go, <laughs> we'll handle it. So I said, okay, good. <laughs> dad, take notes for me. Um, so I'm headed out of the house before I drive myself and everybody else around me crazy. And, um, yeah, so we're going to go run some errands and have some fun. We're going to see Roger Daltrey tonight. That was one of the people that just drove by. Um, so we're going to go see Roger Daltrey tonight, so that'll be fun. And, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to go run a couple errands to, like, Dollar Tree and things and pick up some stuff that I've been looking for, if I can find it. And we'll get something for dinner before I leave so we can have an early dinner. And yeah, so I'm gonna bring y'all with me. I've already updated the website and added a couple of new memes. The design team videos all came out today for my design team for my product line for my Etsy shop. So I will link my video in the description below and in my video description actually no you know what I'm gonna list all of their video links in the description below I don't care if you watch my video but go watch all of theirs show them some love and if you're not subscribed to their channels yet do that um, what else is going on today I feel like there's something and I can't remember because I'm kind of having kind of a high anxiety moment and that was why my husband and father both said, you need to just go run your errands before you drive us, yourself, and everybody else crazy. Because that's a real thing. <laughs> so we're going to go over to World Market, um, which is a store that sells 
all imported goods and I'm going to go see if I can pick up some incense and it's one of the few things that doesn't make me cough and wheeze so um, I should have, actually should say, shouldn't say that there's a couple of scents of incense that don't make me cough and wheeze so I'm going to go pick some up because I'm running low and um, I want to go to the Dollar Tree maybe Michael's I need I want to need I don't need I want to get some decor things and I might drive down to Hobby Lobby depending on if I haven't gotten texted that people are gone <laughs> and I still need to kill time then I might drive down to Hobby Lobby which is the other way because I'm headed north and Hobby Lobby is south in Morgan Hill so that's a thing all right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Okay, I stayed out of the house just long enough for all of the workmen people to come and go and they're, yeah, all done. I got everything unpacked and the groceries and stuff all put away and ate lunch and now I'm back out again. because <laughs> I gotta go to the bank now and go get some cash. My dad came down from Washington State to help us out with a few things and I need to get him some cash to cover his expenses because uh, that's only fair and um, yeah so I need to go do that <sighs> still looking forward to the Ro Roger Daltrey concert tonight um, a lot of stuff in my house is packed because we're having work done on it but I think I know where there's one sweatshirt and even though it's 112 degrees right now on my windshield um, I'm going to need a sweatshirt because when the sun goes down up where the concert is it's probably going to be freezing and I'd rather have it and not need it than not have it and be dressed like this. So there's that. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go to the bank. I'll be right back. Everybody, it is um, Saturday morning, uh, Octo uh, October, August 11th, 10:39 a.m., and we are just having a slow, lazy day. I'm still in my pajamas, and uh, yeah, the husband is on call for work the next few days in a row, including Saturday and Sunday. So um, we aren't going to be going too far, but I do have some more. Um, uh, purging to do and my dad has been visiting helping us out with some things around the house which means that I now have to clean because love my dad but yeah he's a little bit like the pig pen character from P the peanuts comic strip with a little dust cloud following him around yeah so anyway <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm, I might get some more watercoloring or something done today. I will try to catch some, uh, clips of it if I can for you all. And yeah, that's it. Not nothing big. No huge things to do, which is nice for a change. All right. I'll be hey guys. Wow. It is 117 on Saturday. It's a hundred degrees on the windshield, which is slightly cooler than it was at this time yesterday which was 112 degrees in the kitchen. Yuck. All right, so we got some cleanup done. I had some lunch. I need to go out and run some errands now. I need to actually get a couple things for dinner and I need to drop off some batteries to recycling. We found some old batteries and um, I need to take an Etsy order in and pick up the mail, and, you know, all that jazz. So, let's go. And by the way, last night's um, concert with Roger Daltrey, despite the fact that he had um, technical issues with the sound system, was fabulous. And who knew Roger Daltrey was a Johnny Cash fan? I had no idea. 
and he and his band sang some Johnny Cash at the end of the concert, which was fabulous. And I have yet today to find time to look and see if he's ever recorded any Johnny Cash songs. So I'm going to be doing that. I don't know if he ever has. Um, he made it sound like he hasn't ever, but he does sing them. It was fabulous either way. Um, if you have the opportunity to go see him and you're a fan of The Who and Johnny, Ka um, sorry, and Roger Daltrey, um, you might want to go see it. It was really a lot of fun. And if you're in California, in the San Jose Bay Area or Greater San Francisco Bay Area, and you're looking for a nice concert venue, I would really recommend the Mountain Winery. And if you've never heard of it, I'll link their website in the description below. They do uh, rent out their space for events like weddings and things. It's not a huge venue, uh, but it is a really nice place to go see a concert. And because it's a smaller venue, uh, we've seen a number of different people there, including Willie Nelson, Joan Jett, um, Brian Setzer, um, so many I can't even think of who all, who all um, and every single one of them was great so uh, yeah I can't recommend them enough so anyway let's get to getting and go get the batteries dropped off and get my stint at the grocery store done so I can go get the mail <laughs> we'll do the two not fun things first all right that's it I'll be back you know I really love how people think the traffic signals and lane lines are just a suggestion. I'm only literally one block from home, two blocks max, and I've already seen two very near accidents, one that almost involved me. Seriously, people, just slow down and pay attention to what's going on around you. I, I yeah, I don't understand. I literally just saw somebody run a red light in front of oncoming traffic made a left turn in front of oncoming traffic from the other way. And then somebody decided to change lanes right in front of me without looking to see if there was anybody there, i.e. me. Unbelievable. Right, let's go get the mail now, shall we? Okay, guys. So that's it for this week. I hope you've had a good one. I know it's been interesting for us. And it will continue to be so for a little while. Um, look towards the end of this month for a new vlog series specifically on what's been going on with us and what this all is about behind me to start airing here on the channel. And that's it for right now. Um, don't forget to be nice to each other. Be a decent human. And for goodness sake, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.